and I call now on Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Thank you, Mr. President. Madam Rapporteur, Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain, the Bahrain Institute for Rights and Democracy, and the Bahrain Center for Human Rights would like to raise our concern over increasing violations of international fair trial standards. We are particularly concerned with the wider impact of this violation over time. In Bahrain, the judiciary has long suffered from strong executive interference, has regularly failed to uphold due process rights, and has systematically accepted tortured confessions as grounds to convict individuals of arbitrary arbitrary prison sentences. This has resulted in the dangerous overcrowding of prisons over time. In response to these measures this week, prisoners in Bahrain's dry dock detention center, which houses over a thousand pretrial detainees, have staged a strike demanding the right to retrial under a process that follows international fair trial standards. They have also demanded an end to torture and ill treatment in detention, as well as accountability for those who have yet to face trial for leading or participating in human rights violations since 2011. Recalling that last year similar grievances ultimately resulted in a prison riot and subsequent collective punishment by prison officials resulting in mass torture and a sharp decline in prison conditions with treatment rising to a level of humanitarian concern, these issues are truly urgent in Bahrain. We are also concerned by acts of intimidation and reprisals against human rights lawyers and their families. For example, in April 2011, Bahraini security forces arrested and tortured prominent Bahraini lawyer and human rights defender Mohammed Al Tajer. On 5th November 2015, Bahraini security forces arrested Mohammed's brother Ali Al Tajer. They held Ali incommunicado for 25 days. They repeatedly tortured him and forced him to sign a confession, which was used against him in trial. Madame Rapporteur, how do you recommend that judicial frameworks be strengthened not only to address the intimidation of lawyers, but also to provide remedy for victims of the types of systematic abuses seen by the striking prisoners at Dry Dock Detention Center? Thank you Center? very much, Madam.